Hi, I'm Larry Whitmer and welcome to another Random Act of Anatomy. We got Triceratops today. And part of the reason we're doing Triceratops is, is that our team is going uh, later today to Bozeman, Montana and the Museum of the Rockies to study dinosaurs of all different kinds, but we're also going to be returning specimens such as this brain case of Triceratops right here. This specimen right here is another specimen of Triceratops from the Museum of the Rockies, MOR 699. It's all in pieces and I got it laid out here for you. Part of what I want to show you is that this looks like a pretty big animal. Um, and here's actually the brain case of this uh, specimen of Triceratops right here. Here's the occipital condyle where the neck attaches. What I want to show you now is the brain case that we're returning, MOR 1194. And so here's this brain case right here. This is all we have of this particular specimen on loan. Here is the occipital condyle right here. What we can do is compare the occipital condyle of this specimen that we see back here and look at the size difference. This one is much smaller. The triceratops that belong to this thing right here must have been an enormous animal. Well, tell you what, let me uh, put this thing down here. Um, I'm on my own here, so let me just zoom in here a little bit so that we can see that a little bit better. Whoops, wrong way. There we go. Okay, so we can see the, the brain case right in here. Um, I'll spin it around a little bit. Uh, you can see that it's really just literally the brain case. The brain would sit in here. And part of the reason we got this is so that we could do our CT scanning and see if we could figure out what the brain was looking like. Well, let me just go ahead and pull this up here so you can see some of the features. It's actually a pretty nice brain case. It looks kind of beat up, actually. Um, like there's lots of fractures, uh, but we can still see lots of these big holes in here. Um, if you look on the back right here, you can see that is the foramen magnum uh, where the spinal cord would come out. Here's the right side right here. So the front's that way. And you can see lots of these little holes right here. So what we did, as we typically do, is we ran this thing through a CAT scanner, came up with the digital endocast, and in this case, we printed it out. So here's the 3D print of the brain endocast that goes with this guy. And so the, the blue part is the brain part, more or less. Uh, the yellow are the cranial nerves. The red things are, are blood vessels, arteries, and these other, this color right here is actually uh, veins, and that's the inner ear right there. One thing we can see here, and let's not judge uh, Triceratops, but this is a really small cerebrum. This brain case isn't so distorted to suggest that this is strongly compressed. I think Triceratops just simply was a fairly simple animal. Uh, probably not a lot of cognitive capabilities. But one thing we can see is actually how all of these um, openings here in the brain case match up with features in the endocast. So this opening right down in here is actually where blood entered the brain. This is the carotid artery, the cerebral carotid artery. And these other things are basically uh, cranial nerves. This opening right, or this structure right here is something that would have emerged uh, through that hole. Uh, and that's part of the trigeminal system, the maxillomandibular nerve. Uh, this piece right here is another part of the trigeminal called the ophthalmic. And we might have missed it but look at, by just looking at this, but we, by able to be using the CT scans, we could see how this nerve tunnels through and actually emerges right around in here. And we could do that with all of the rest of these um, nerves. And you can sort of see that we get a very complete endocast um, as, as a result. And so um, we kind of got to get moving here because I got to get this guy packed up. We're hitting on the road in just, uh, just a couple of hours. Uh, but before I did that, I just wanted to show you what um, this brain case of this huge individual of Triceratops looked like, as well as giving you a glimpse of its brain endocast. So um, with that, I'm Larry Whitmer, and thanks for seeing another random act of anatomy.